Hello, you're watching a Unipro Eugene podcast. In this episode, I'm going to give an overview of Eugene version 1.10. This latest version features new embedded tools for short reads aligning and phylogeny. The reading of large sequences and the visualization of assembly data have been improved. I will now talk about the new features in detail. The Burroughs Wheeler Aligner, or BWA, a popular program for aligning short reads to a long reference sequence, was embedded into Eugene as an external tool. To use the program, select the BWA method in the Align Short Reads dialog and provide the input reference sequence and short reads. Note that it is possible to use Burroughs Wheeler Aligner within Eugene on all supported operating systems, including Windows, which was not supported by the original BWA program. Another short reads aligner, Bowtie, was also changed. It is now used as an external tool as well. An option to work with the color space was added, which is important to align reads produced by Solid Platform. The new modes of short reads visualization were added to the assembly browser. The difference mode highlights only the bases that differ from the reference sequence. The paired reads mode highlights all paired reads in green. Note that the information about the mate is available in the hint. The default highlighting mode is the nucleotide mode. When this mode is enabled, all nucleotides are highlighted in different colors. Several reads shadowing modes appeared in Eugene 1.10. The free shadowing mode highlights all reads that intersect a given column. The centered shadowing mode highlights all reads that intersect the column in the center of the screen. Read the assembly browser documentation to learn more about reads highlighting and shadowing modes. Two new elements for managing data flow appeared in the workflow designer. To see them in action, select, for example, the sequence length marking sample on the palette. The sequence marker element allows one to add one or several marks to an input sequence. The marks may depend, for example, on the input sequence length or on the count of the sequence annotations. The filter element, in conjunction with the sequence marker element, would allow one to filter the input data by these marks. In this sample, all input sequences are marked either with the short mark, if the sequences are shorter than 200 base pairs, or with the long mark, if the sequences are longer than 200 base pairs. To run the sample, select the input sequences and the names of the output files and press the Run button on the toolbar. The sequence view is now able to visualize very long sequences, even on slow hardware. For example, as you can see, the sequence of the human genome is now opened, which is 3 billion base pairs in length. The sequence view was extended with two new graphs, the DNA flexibility graph and the GC frame plot graph. The first one reflects the torsional flexibility of a DNA sequence, which is based on the twist angle between adjacent base pairs. The GC frame plot graph is similar to the GC content graph, but shows the GC content of the first, second, and third positions independently. This can help you identify gene starts in high GC genomes. A new handy feature was added to the alignment editor. The feature allows one to collapse rows with the same characters into one row. Note that if the rows collapsing mode has been enabled, then all the rows can be edited in the same way. The program Mr. Bayes, used for the Bayesian estimation of phylogeny, was added into Eugene as an external tool. To build a phylogenetic tree using the program, press the Build Tree button in the Alignment Editor and select the Mr. Bayes method. You can use the default parameters and click the Build button. The resulting consensus tree is opened in the Eugene Phylogenetic Tree Viewer. Last but not least, a word concerning Eugene packages. The Eugene full package is now available. It contains all the external tools and the Eugene documentation. If you install this package, no additional configuration is required, and you can use all the tools out of the box. Feel free to contact us if you need technical support, and stay tuned for new episodes.